Alrighty, so um, this is going to be another test run to see uh, how good the audio sounds. I know um, I got some feedback from uh, one of my good friends today, and he said that the game audio was too loud whenever I spoke, and that my audio was too low whenever um, I spoke over the game audio. Really, it was kind of the differential between going from game audio being lower to hear my voice, then back up again, and that was kind of really, you know, hurting to the ears. So hopefully, um, it's a little bit better this time. So I'm going to go ahead and start where I left off yesterday. Uh, literally, I just uh, <laughs> I paused the switch. That's the beauty about the switch, is that you can just basically just turn it off. Well, not turn it off, but you can pause the game, you know, put the um, console in sleep mode and just take it right with you wherever you want to go. Hopefully, you know, in the future, Nintendo can uh, actually do a little bit more with the system um, as far as power-wise. I think it has a lot of potential, but, you know, honestly, I'm not saying that this is the best it can get, but in comparison to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, this is pretty darn good. You know, we're getting we're getting Dark Souls coming up. We're getting... Uh, it's gonna be it's an it's a not a new IP but it's a continuation IP. We're getting Bayonetta three. Um, we got Lost Spear coming out. Um, I'm talking about power system, so that's kind of in the games. Uh, the last one I just said. Uh, okay, we're getting Wolfenstein three. Oh, I'm sorry, Wolfenstein two, the new Colossus. That's gonna be a big one because I did have Doom and I do have. Um, I'm sorry, I do have Doom and I also have Skyrim as well on the, on the Nintendo Switch. And I played Skyrim a little bit the other day, just kind of making my character and stuff, but I kind of stopped. But uh, Doom is pretty fun, too. And I may actually do that at some point, uh, play that game, because I know that I think people will be really interested in that. But I want to continue on with Sonic Mania and just uh, continue to play and see how it goes. So here we go. And once again, Tails just falls behind, so... This is just once again a test run. I think this is really fun. I hope that it, you know folks that view this or that will view it in the future, whenever they view this, that they'll enjoy it, and that they have a much better audio experience this time. And it's one of the things where I kind of just have to do it, and then you know to see how it sounds after the fact. I know there's a way for me to um, kind of test the audio before I upload it, but out of the out of the essence of time because I have you know I have, I'm so busy all the time right now I'll um, just kind of just record on the fly and then just kind of just upload it because I still got to learn how to edit and all that other fun stuff so learning experience this is fun so this is flying battery zone and it's pretty much identical to to the one that was on I believe Sonic 3 had flying battery zone um, What's cool about the Sonic Mania games is, is that the first zone is always pretty much identical to how the Genesis one um, was in, in, in every way as far as like exactly how the stage is, etc, etc. But in the, um, let's spin dash real quick, in the, uh, come on Tails, ah, <laughs> he's still one I knew, it's all good. But in the uh, in the second stages, you always get a different uh, take on how this uh, how, on how the level will go, and I like that because that that's what actually makes it new. So even though I know a lot of people they didn't really complain because they were just so happy to get a traditional Sonic, but one of the things that they that they talked about was the lack of originality, and I, I beg to differ because the second zones are totally different than how they were in the original games. And I think that that's the crowning achievement of this of this game. Um, I really like that what Sega did. I think that uh, that they've done an outstanding job with this with this game. I need to get down there. I did it. Ah, oh thank God I didn't get smushed. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do this one. I never I never did any of the. Uh, of the Blue Spears levels. Really, I was really about to run right into it. That would have been so bad. I'm glad that I pressed the button to kind of go over. 
right now um, it's, it's off camera right now but I'm playing with the Pro Controller and um, it's the updated one the, the Xenoblade one there's a really cool guy named uh, Spawnwave on the internet and he, he takes apart stuff and everything and he had uh, recommended this controller if you really wanted to replace your or if you wanted to get another Pro Controller than the one that came at launch because I noticed the one I have at launch it's, it's fine it works good I like it um, I just think that sometimes the D-pad it, it doesn't respond as well as I would like it to I noticed that I was playing um, Romancing Saga 2 on the Nintendo Switch one day docked and I uh, and I uh, was playing um, playing some turn-based battles because that's an RPG game that it it was actually going in different directions as I was pressing the pad down and stuff and I don't know if that's due to dirt or whatever but I always keep my controllers clean but um, it just wasn't responding well but this one I have like no problems and I remember Spawn he opened it up and he actually showed the fact that there is a uh, a larger how do you say um, there's a larger piece on the on a plastic on the d-pad and when you when you actually uh, that's not good at all Brandon no oh well I try to get perfect you're supposed to get all the coins coins this is not Mario get all the rings <laughs> get all the rings get all the rings and um, and then uh, you're able to get to it. I'm gonna get back to spawn with just a second. I wish that I could have a second player to play this, because Tails could actually fly me up and uh, get me to higher places. Even at Supersonic, which is fun. Okay, false advertisement real quick. How is it that Sonic in the last levels of whatever game that he's in, he always can fly a Super Sonic and in the regular levels he can't do nothing but just, you know, run and stuff. And he's floating off the air like this. You would think that you can let him make him fly. But, you know, video games. But yeah, Spawn, um, Spawn showed the fact that, uh, just getting back to that real quick, Spawn would showed the fact that, that the D-pad is, uh, is more reliable on the new, uh, controller than it is on the, um, on the, uh, on the previous one, on the original one, I should say. And like I said, they're both good, they're both good, but I I'm glad that I got this one. Plus, anyway, the design is really, really sleek and nice. And most likely, like most Nintendo things, they'll always come out with a different, you know, color set or whatever. All right. One thing I'm going to make short work of him. Now, if you notice that, I just, uh, you probably have to rewind it to see it. But right before um, Robotnik put us down into the little pit with this thing, and that was so simple. Uh, nah, I didn't catch in time. Here's a controller, by the way. So this is the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 controller. It's pretty cool. Got it from Best Buy. Um, going back to the game for a second. There is there was the there was the boss the boss that's in this uh, that's in this section. It actually had a, di a diagram of him in the uh, in the last part of the level. Fun fact, this song, aside from, I won't say it's my favorite favorite, but this song aside from, uh, what is the other Sonic song? And this is probably Green Hill Zone. Uh, the remix that they did in the second stage probably is my favorite in the, in, in the whole Sonic series as far as the 2D ones are concerned. Because I really just like how, the, how, the, how, they, how they made it. Like you'll hear it in just a second. Yeah, how to say it? Dun, 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 dun. I really like that. I'm, I'm telling you, I swear that Tails is a tank. He can take take a licking and keep on taking. It's just like in the Genesis version, like people used to. Uh, <laughs> I used to have friends that used to. They used to say that we were cheating the game. I got super speed, good. 
Because, like, Tails, Tails could get hit, but, you know, he wouldn't really take any damage or anything. Because, uh... Oh, that's cheating. How you gonna open up one side and not open up the other side? How'd that work? Anyway, Tails would take damage and... He would just continue to go, not lose the rings, he'd be good. Sonic gets hit one time, boom, just like, nope, done. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to, I spoke to one, I spoke about this in the other video last or earlier this morning, way earlier this morning, that one of my friends, one of my good, good friends, uh, I asked him if he would like to do, uh, if he'd be interested in a Sonic podcast where we just talk about kind of Sonic games and then Sonic in general. He he said that he would. Of course, you know he's working like me or whatever. But it probably won't be until I, you know, I really, you know, kind of get this whole recording thing really down good and and kind of get mics done and all that. You know, I'm not gonna order another mic because that doesn't make any sense. But I at least will. Uh, Okay, I really should transform right here. Hold on. that will make this part go a lot faster. I got 200 rings. I'll wait. Um, he uh, he agreed to do it. So um, so hopefully I'll have him on here. I don't know if I'm going to do any video. That's only if, if, he, if, he, if he wants to. Because, you know, I'm not going to put anybody on camera that doesn't want to be on camera. But I think that would be interesting because... To be really honest with y'all, uh, he's probably the most <laughs> knowledgeable Sonic fan I think I've ever met in my entire life, uh, and that's a good thing. You know, like he he really, 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 really like really like Sonic. So, um, and interestingly enough, he likes the 3D Sonics more than the uh, more than the 2D ones, and that's kind of rare because most most people don't. You know, don't really care for the 3D ones. I'm kind of iffy on them. Uh, like on most video games that I play, if it's fun, I don't care. I don't care if it's 2D, if it's 3D. I don't care about graphics per se. As long as, as long as the gameplay is fun, if it's playable. Um, whenever WWE 2K18, just as an example, whenever they finally get a good patch for the game for Nintendo Switch, I will show that because that's one of the games I was really excited for, but unfortunately it just was a debacle. It was so bad. So bad. Like There's so many videos out on it and if anybody um, follows me on Twitter at first, I remember I said at first that I said it was a good experience and that's because I played a little bit of it and to my knowledge, for me, I, I try not to be that judgmental on games Try to give him the benefit of the doubt a little bit, but dude, I, I played it, and I, I had to take back what I said. I think I put in like I, I retweeted. I said nope. I, I take it back everything. So if 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 you haven't heard, if you didn't know, yeah, I take it all back. It's it's a disaster. The game is so broken. Bad frame rates. Just it's just so bad. But that's because I think you know, trying to rush it out the door and not really taking time to um, to really optimize it for the Nintendo Switch. And that's really all that it is. Because NBA 2K18, which, believe it or not, is my very first basketball game uh, uh, to um, that I purchased, that I bought, that I really, really enjoyed. And I'm glad I got it. Oh, Tails is stuck in the thing. Awesome. Look at that. <laughs> that is hilarious. So bad. I forgot Sonic is like uberly pop. I don't even need to even get on the what's the name. I should make quick work of of Dr. Robotnik. And like I said in the previous one, this one, he literally, uh, they literally show you the boss uh, for this level anyway as a, as a, he has like a little diagram um, before you face his boss. And I like that. You know, it's like little Easter eggs in this game, little stuff that I'm picking up that I've never even seen before. And I've played through this campaign like so many times. Through Mania mode anyway. Campaign, it's like Call of Duty, but you know, the story mode. You can attack me, you can't hit me, I'm invincible, ha huh? ah, really? Well...
Okay, that did not just happen. <laughs> I was at the ball show and okay, now I don't have no superpower. I just gotta just wing it. Okay. Um, <laughs> yesterday or earlier this earlier today when I uploaded the first video, I said that I died at the Dr. Robotnik Beam Beam Machine. That was the first time. Well, this is also the first time why I've also died at this boss for the first time. Sadness. <laughs> I hit him three times. I know Sonic, um, I remember from, from since I you know, died at that part, just remembering like Sonic can get smushed if he's super, he can still drown if he's super. Sonic, like there is no, you know, leeway or whatever, just because you're you're uberly powerful. Once again, if they make it oh, uh, that was not good. If they make another mania type game or another 2D Sonic, I would love for them to uh, give Sonic the option, the ability at least to be able to fly in the level like he does when he fights against the final bosses because I mean that's you know that that would be really good you know that gives him some variety because I mean it's just a you know this game is a runner it's an action game you know that's what Sonic the Hedgehog games are they're, they're action games Awesome, so I beat that. I'm gonna do one more uh, zone. Two acts. I said it right this time. Okay, press garden zone. I don't I don't remember if this is if this is a continuation of a previous Sonic one or if this is a new zone I have to look up the trailers again and see okay I've never figured this out I don't know how to break that like I've done everything that I know how to do I think I don't even think with knuckles you can break it but I may be wrong with the playthrough and with them anyway moving right along and people oh I forgot there's this little thing over here a little secret for those that haven't played this, I know this one I found, it took me a while to find this little ring. Super ring is right there. I'm kind of going to, kind of going to go. Mm. I'm going to zoom through this. Because I kind of want to end it early. Uh, if the audio turns out really well, I'll go ahead and I'll um, do like a whole playthrough of this with Sonic and Tails, like as a new game. And see if the, the goal is on, on the first try. I'm going to try to beat the whole game without having to continue it again with all the chaos emeralds. I'm not worried about all the blue spears and all that stuff. That's just too much. But um, at least with the chaos emeralds, I think that would be a cool goal to reach because um, it just makes the last battle a lot easier and you actually see the true ending of the game. If I don't, no problem. It's fine. But uh, I at least wanted to do that. and. and and show you all that that way the game is from start to finish for for those that maybe haven't picked this up yet or would like to play Sonic Mania whoa could have got smushed made it got it that's one of them pristine jumps all right, I'm transforming. Boom. Mm -mm 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 you know, it's so funny, like, you know, with the switch, with the portability. Okay, let me get up here and hit that. Okay. With the portability of it, because you can take the game on the go. I mean, it's it's kind of really hilarious. Like, I can go to my, go to my little second job. In the evening time, I'm taking my lunch break or a break or something, go to my vehicle to sit down. I can have my Nintendo Switch out and just continue right off where I left off. I love that. Let me see if I can make it up there. There we go. Got it. And no other console can do that. 
that's one thing that that kind of that's what made me want to get it it wasn't because it was like a nintendo diehard fanboy or whatever or you know i don't i have everything so i don't care about that and, that, and that's not the boast either you know i'm just that blessed to be able to have the stuff because i work so hard you know but um i mean that's that's really what made me want to get into the switch was the portability aspect of it because i mean half of the games other than you know some of the nintendo first party titles are all you can play them all on every other platform you know and at some point i want to do a uh It'll be a while, well, maybe, but I want to do an Assassin's Creed Origins run, but I want to kind of get through the other ones. But I prefer to play those games, honestly, on, like, the Xbox or the PlayStation. Preferably the Xbox. I've always played Assassin's Creed always on Xbox. Fun fact, the first Assassin's Creed was on uh, Xbox 360, not on the uh, PlayStation at first until they, you know, um, this is going to be a quick battle. And so they, uh, and so they just poured it over. I think it was a couple months later. Ha ha! I'm gonna like literally walk on you or whatever have you. Look at this, John. Boom, done, done and done. <laughs> I won't be able to do that <laughs> when I do the brand new game. It's really like a cheating, to be honest with you, because you can get through all this stuff so fast. All right, one more act, one more act, and then I'm gonna end it, upload this, y'all enjoy, and hopefully the audio sounds a lot better. It's not too loud or whatever, but we'll see. I want to say, getting back to my thought earlier, I want to say that I that this is a this is a new zone. This is a there was about two or three Sonic Mania exclusive whatever you know zones that um, that they made. I think this is one of the new ones. I'm hoping so, because I really like this level, it's different. Because if you look at the other Sonic games, you always have like, you know, maybe like the first two levels like super, 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 super fast. Then you have like the third one that's kind of, you know, they, well, hold on, wait a second. First Sonic, aside from the first Sonic, because the second, the second level nobody, almost nobody likes, but it was unique to that, to that game series. Because pretty much the second one on, they always had at least the first two or three levels, like really high speed levels. And then once you get to about the fourth one, they kind of slow down a little bit and give you small bursts of speed at a time, a little more obstacles. But, ah, uh, that's not good. So, <laughs> this, uh, this snow is like the state of Louisiana right now. It's about to be covered. <laughs> It's about to be covered everywhere. There's gonna be ice everywhere. Um, uh, okay, wait a second. I gotta hit this and go back. Come on. There you go. Aw, oh, man. Let me get out of it. There we go. Only got. Oh, that's a kickback to the second Sonic, to uh, Sonic 2, that little, yeah, there we go, the thing that sticks into the into the wall. Like, there was a boss that you fight in Sonic 2, uh, Robotnik of course, and he, he throws the things against the wall like that and then you climb up on them so you can hit them. And they also fall like that too, so I need to time this right to get over there. Uh, that's not going to work, hold on. All right, let's see. Got it. That's the first one. Now, thinking about something that I said, I said that this game was a good, like a runner. It is a runner, but this is also, but, but this is considered, I believe, the genre is called platformer. You know, because Sonic was originally uh, made in competition to Mario. Well, Mar while as Mario was a, you know, a little bit slower game. There's so such funny commercials in the past. Really, I have like no superpower, but it's all right. This boss is not that demanded on taking your rings and stuff. Only, only with that 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 crap right there. Uh, man, come on! I also got at least one ring. I'm good. 
He's like Zoro or something. He's like, on guard. Uh, I got no more rings. I'm gonna die. Oh. Good. I was gonna die right there. I had no more rings left. Very good. Cool. Alright. I gotta get, get ready for later on this evening. So I hope that was fun. Hopefully the audio problem is fixed. I kind of lowered the game audio and increased the uh, the um, the microphone audio. So we'll see how that sounds. And this is always cool. I love that, that transition. Looking at... Uh, Quick preview. I'm gonna maybe continue on with this just to kind of keep testing. But Stardust Speedway is a uh, is a kickback to um, Sonic CD, Sonic CD, which is a fun game. So anyway, that's all for now. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that. Um, I will see you in the next one.